The most powerful weapon in my arsenal of health is vegetable fermentation. Most people are horrified when I tell them I eat week, month, or even year old never cooked vegetables. But fermentation is an ancient method of preserving food practiced throughout history all over the world. Sauerkraut from the grocery store has been cooked before bottling, as are basically all canned foods. But probiotics die in the conventional canning method. There's a better way, and here's how I do it. First, I pull out any and all vegetables from the fridge to stand ready. Fruit can be fermented too, but tastes boozy, and it's also more volatile, especially bananas. Fun science experiment, but that's about it in my opinion. Now kimchi and sauerkraut are primarily made of cabbage, and after years of fermenting all sorts of produce, I've found cabbage to be far and away the best tasting and most reliable base for fermentation. Peppers? Also fantastic. Another key ingredient in kimchi. Bell peppers? Anaheim peppers are my favorite, but any old pepper will do. Chop them up into cubic centimeter bits and throw them in the bowl. Kale's not that great, but I like to sneak in a little bit. Very healthy. Cucumbers. Everybody likes a pickle. And that's what we call this process, pickling. Well, cucumbers are excellent for fermentation. Onions I've found to be not that great, but green onions, pretty good. Oh look, I've got a little Anaheim pepper after all. All right, now it's time for the salt. The beginners typically use too much salt, not too much. Tablespoons plenty, you can do with even less. Now YouTube has a large body of video tutorials about fermenting vegetables, so if you're a fan of fermentation already, just take this with you. My signature move, adding liquid minerals to your batch. I'm no scientist, but I understand that the probiotics interact with minerals in such a way that they improve absorption. All I know is they make you feel amazing from head to toe. Next step, get out a pestle and beat the mixture vigorously until it's the consistency of a slimy wet salad. Then stuff it into a mason jar. Now don't get cheap and try to use an old spaghetti sauce container either. This is serious stuff. Fermentation builds up pressure and can be dangerous if you don't use good glass. Now, as before, get the pestle and jam it into the jar. Now, it's a good idea to pack it in pretty tight, but you don't want to fill it all the way up to the top. Again, because of the pressure. Now, get a little paper towel and wipe off the jar's mouth before sealing. If there's moisture, the lid can rust. And that's it. And no refrigeration either, ever. That's the miracle of fermentation. As long as the jar remains sealed, the naturally occurring anaerobic bacteria will thrive. That's the probiotics while the harmful aerobic bacteria that ordinarily make food go bad won't be able to survive. Sometimes if your mixture is a bit off, you can get a thin layer of mold along the top of the vegetables where they meet the air in the jar. I know it seems a little gross, but you can scrape it off and the underlying fermentation will still be edible. This happened more often in the old days when I was fermenting more squash and onions, but I haven't had a batch develop any mold in a long time. One last thing, making fermentation can be messy. So make sure you clean up promptly. A vigorous, healthy body resulting from this superfood is no substitute for keeping a cleanly kitchen atmosphere for your wife. It's important to very briefly loosen the lids on new fermentation to relieve pressure. Once per day for four days or so is typically sufficient. I'd like to show you some past batches. As you can see, new fermentation has a delicious electric green color. As the vegetables age, they quickly take on a browner hue and the flavor becomes increasingly more like vinegar. Now a demonstration. This last jar was made with red cabbage and so has a different color. It's over a year old. Look, I even have to blow off the dust and yet mm, it's still got it. You must unlearn what you've learned. Fermented vegetables are healthier and safer than even fresh vegetables. Your friends, the battle-hardened microbes alive in the jar have already killed your bacterial enemies. To health, my friends. Carry on.